with your pencil, you know, a bit more pressure on the paper, you get a lovely sort of dark velvety line, velvety uh, tone. And then, you know, with your paper towel, you can just soften it to get the gradual feeling of it going from very dark to sort of half tone to light. Do you know what I mean? Gillian? Yes. Yeah. Yes, uh, I think it's, I think the you know, the sort of transition from very, very dark, which you do get in places on, in the folds where the light can't get to it, uh, yes. to get that sort of gradual transition creates a sense of a curve surface or, you know, I mean, this is coming up into light. So this actually could have been, this could be much lighter down this corner. So I might just take some of that away. But um yeah. yeah, it's just, it, it's interesting, I think, you know, what happens. It, it is interesting. Yeah. I can see what ought to happen, but I can't seem to quite make it happen. Well, it just requires a bit more practice, that's all. So just keep going and, and see if you can develop that sense of, of things going back into shadow and coming out into light, you know, where they're very light, like this is hardly got any tone on it at all. Um, yeah. And similarly here... Um, it's just it just makes the drawing very you know you, you it's intriguing when you get a it sense is. of things disappearing into shadow. Absolutely. Yeah. And that this is the way to do it, I think. You know, I mean, there are many ways of doing it, but with this particular exercise, I think this works quite well. Yes, it's a brilliant idea, actually, really brilliant. Well, I, I, I wasn't aware of uh, how valuable it would be until I had a go at it this afternoon. You know, it's funny, once you start to, you know, try something out, it's amazing what you can discover. <laughs>